So in this video we're going to show how to take a course that you've taught in the past in Blackboard and to move that content or convert that content over to Canvas. So if you have a course where you already have the content created in Blackboard, for example a section of the course that you may have taught last year or last semester, the easiest way to go about moving that content over into Canvas is to actually go in and export that content from Blackboard as a single package and then what you'd want to do is to take that export file and to import it into the Canvas learning management system. So let's take a quick look at how we might go about doing that. So here I am logged into Blackboard here at Toro University, California. As you can see, like most faculty members, I've got a number of courses that I've been enrolled in over here on the right hand side of the screen going back several semesters, uh, which is the pattern that many of you experience as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into one of these courses and I'll just pick one at random. Um, so let me take this one here and as you can see it loads in I've got all of my material here now what I'm going to do is over here on this left hand menu I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and the second last item you see here is an option called packages and utilities and if I click on the little triangle over here that opens up that option you'll see it gives me about eight different other options here and the one I really want is this export archive course so I'm going to click on the export slash archive course and it brings me up into that window here or that item over here on the right hand side. I'm going to go over here into the top left hand corner of that portion and you'll see my option. I've got two buttons here, export package and archive course. I want to create an export package so I'm going to click on that option right here and it brings up all of the, the items that I have here to create my course export. So what I'm going to do is I want to, you'll see there's an option here, course files, default directory. You want to make sure that the second one is picked, so copy links and include copies of files in the course default directory. You also want to click on the second link here. So files outside of the course default directory, you want to make sure that it says copy links and include copies of the files outside of the course default directory. So for both of these items here, you want to make sure you've got the second item or the second radio button here pushed. Now as you go down here, if you want, you can go through and select out just the things you want. For me personally, I always click select all and that way it'll bring over everything and then in Canvas I can decide things that I'd like to delete and things that aren't useful to me anymore now. Once I've got select all clicked and I can scroll down just to confirm that yes it did indeed pick all of them, I'm going to click on the submit button. Now you'll notice up here there's a green bar that appears that says the action has now been queued and I'll receive an email when it's ready. Another way in which you can find out if it's ready is you can just hit the refresh button here. So it's not ready yet because nothing has popped up here. So I'm going to wait a minute or so and then I'm going to hit refresh again and we'll see what happens. So as you can see I've just got my email that says that my course has been exported, uh, the operation has been completed and I can go over and download the file. So let's go back over now to our Blackboard area so we can download the file. Okay so you can see that I just hit refresh one last time and you can see that this export file with all kinds of code here .zip has showed up so uh, what I want to do is I want to click on that file and it will start to download down to my computer so if you are on a PC or Windows based machine it may have asked you when you clicked on it do you want to save the file and do you want to save it to like your downloads directory in my case I'm on a Mac so as soon as I click on the file it automatically starts to download here and by the looks of it, it's going to take about three minutes to download. So I'll probably pause the video here now and then come back once the file has been downloaded. So as you can see here down on the bottom here now, my export has been complete. So I'm going to hide that 
So let's go over to Canvas now where we can import our files. So as you can see here, I'm logged into the Toro Camp Canvas. And what you see is I've got my dashboard here where I've got all of the courses that I've got access to. So in my case, let's go into this demo course because this is where I'm going to import that content. So as you can see, I've got the general blueprint that's here. I haven't gone in and updated it yet. You may or may not have the blueprint in your course, depending on if the blueprint has been applied to your course yet. Regardless if it's there or not, the process that you would have to import course content would be the same. So over here on the left-hand menu in the white area, the very last item down is likely going to be settings. So if you click on the settings option, now over here on the far right-hand side, you can see I've got another menu over here. And about seven or eight down, you'll see there's an option to import the course content. So I'm going to click on that option. And it gives me a pull down item here. So I'm going to pull down this item. The item that I want to select here, we've just created a Blackboard 6789 export.zip file. So that's the option here that I want to pick because that's what I'm going to uh, bring into my course. So I'm going to click on that, then I'm going to choose my file, and so now I've got to navigate. In my case, it will default right to the download directory, and as you can see, there's that export uh, NRS and then .zip file you've got here. So that's the first one there. If it's not the exact first one on yours, you just want to use your navigation over here to go to wherever you saved that particular file. So I'm just going to select that file and then I'm going to click open. It might be okay if you are using a Windows based machine or it might be open as well but you want to basically just select okay here. And I'm just going to bring in all content and then I'm just going to click import. And what you're going to see here now is down here on the bottom um, you can see that they brought in my blueprint at some point and that's completed and now it's thinking about bringing in my Blackboard course that I've just exported and here we go. So it's a Blackboard Learn. It's bringing it in. It's currently running and you'll see this bar will eventually go across here and it'll turn into blue and um, we'll just wait for that to happen here now. So I'll pause the video again while I wait for that to occur and then once the uh, file has been imported then we'll come back and chat some more. Okay, as we can see, it's just completed, and you'll note that there are no issues that it was, so it's a green completed item. You'll see that in times, you'll get this orange completed item, and there might be issues there. Um, if you click on the issues, it will tell you what they were. So, for example, in this case, uh, in the blueprint option, there was a Dropbox thing that wasn't set up in the course settings, and that's fine. When you're bringing things over from Blackboard, oftentimes it's things like an announcement has expired, so it's not available to bring in anymore, or there is an assignment Dropbox that isn't in the right spot, or another common one is that the way in which Canvas does wikis is very different than the way in which 
Blackboard did, so they don't convert over. So if you had wikis in your course, that's another common error that you find. Now, regardless of how many errors that you have here, how many issues you have here, it doesn't matter in terms of the course settings. So you can actually go back into the course and it's brought everything over. This is just a way for it to alert you to the fact that not everything came over correctly. Now in the case of our Blackboard option here, as you can see, there were no issues. So we are fine on that front. So we don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna click on the home to go back to the beginning again. And you can see here, my blueprint is still here. And when I click on modules, either right here or on the menu here, it will take me in and here's all of my course content. So you can see here's all of the things that it brought in from Blackboard. And depending upon what, how I had structured my course in Blackboard will depend upon sort of how much cleanup I've got here. So that's been a quick little video showing you how you can take your course content that you've created in Blackboard either for this semester or from previous semesters and transfer that content over to Canvas. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us here at the Center for Innovative Learning and Teaching.